This is Mac Voices TV. This edition of Mac Voices TV is brought to you by Rogue Amoeba, makers of fine audio software such as Airfoil. With Airfoil, you can send audio all around your house. That's Airfoil by Rogue Amoeba at rogueamoeba.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2011. We are in the iFusion booth talking to Neil Livonius, the director of corporate strategy for iFusion, about their new products. Neil, welcome to Mac Voices TV. Thank you, Chuck. We got a chance to get together last night at the media reception. You were showing me off uh, your little uh, iPhone phone. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you tell us about it and what all it does. Sure. What the iFusion docking station is, it's a traditional uh, replacement for your desktop phone. So a lot of users who are getting rid of their, um, their fixed-line landline phones, a lot of people in the office want to get rid of their IP phone because they want to converge everything onto the mobile device, their iPhone, for example. The problem is they, they want the traditional form factor. They miss the high-quality speakerphone, the handset, um, and that's what we decided to do is to come up with a solution to be that replacement. So we're still converging the voice, the, the communication, is all happening on the iPhone, but we're providing the, the form factor of the, of the traditional handset and speakerphone to that device. So in addition to that, we're also doing syncing, charging. We can play music on it in the desktop. Uh, and so that's where we're going. You know, We think that this is going to help people, it's going to enable them to get rid of that, that fixed line phone faster. Now when you say the syncing, I'm especially interested in that. How are you, you're syncing with my desktop? So we have a pass-through USB port on the back, so when you dock your iPhone, instead of having to take it out and plug it into another dock to sync with iTunes, you can plug, we have a USB port on the back of the iFusion that you plug right into your PC or Mac, and that way you can sync with iTunes from our docking station. In addition to that, we can also do music playback. So we have an audio out on the back, so if you have a, an amp or external speakers, desktop speakers, that you'd like to play back music through, you can do that instead of having to buy a separate cradle only for that purpose. So instead of having all of these very unique cradles and having clutter on the desk, we're trying to consolidate everything into a kind of a new unified uh, docking station, if you will. It's intriguing because there are plenty of docks out there that you, know, you can play music through, you can charge through, you can sync through. Right. But now I have the added capability of using my phone while it's in the dock Right. And it's just one place I can put it at night or during the day, whenever it's fully charged, fully utilized. Um, and it's, it's being done mainly through Bluetooth? Yeah, so the speech path uh, is all Bluetooth, including the music playback. So you don't actually have to put your phone on the dock. So if you have a huge case, maybe you're a big OtterBox fan, then, um, then you can keep it in your pocket or keep it on the desk next to it. Uh, the, the, the dock itself is there only for charging and for syncing. And that is the next question I was going to have because one of the things we see at every Macworld is a lot of case vendors. Do you have to have your iPhone out of the case to use this? You do not. So for a majority of the cases of the typical size from an end case or the Apple bumper will fit in the dock with the case on so you don't have to remove it. Uh, we, we added a bumper to the dock that you can remove that gives you more depth so, you can, uh, so we can accommodate that. So we, um, yeah, we, we thought about that ahead of time. I have to tell you, last night when I saw this at the reception, I was a little skeptical, and then I picked up the handset and was very impressed by the feel of it. It felt good. It felt like a quality phone, not like a little cheap piece of plastic that, oh yeah, I have a phone attached to my phone, but something I could really use. Yeah, thank you. So our legacy, uh, the iFusion brand name is, is comes from a company called Altigen, and we've been in the PBX business, the enterprise PBX business, for over 15 years, where we have been making voice over IP phones, traditional desktop phones. And we've always been considered a, a quality product, a very niche quality product. So we took that experience and made sure when we designed a device for the consumer uh, and for iPhone users in particular that are very, um, uh, what's a good word for it, uh, very specific about how they want their user experience to go, uh, that we, we made sure during the industrial design phase that we accommodated for that. This is really interesting to me too because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think through working with it. If I'm on a phone call on the iFusion, and want to leave, I can just take it up out of the dock and keep on going and That's not right. have to worry about it. That's right, because it's Bluetooth. Uh, you use the Apple Bluetooth control interface and their, their dialing screen to, to change the speech path. Also, we've built in uh, to our Bluetooth profile on the device that as soon as we sense you've taken it out of the dock, the speech path will switch automatically. Very nice. Okay, I gotta ask, what does it cost to take one home? So full retail price is $169. If you pre-order before April, it's $149. Wow, that's great, that's great. And they come in black and white? They come in black and white. Any plans for colors? Uh, eventually. <laughs> 
and we're also talking about people, you know, maybe there'll be some Ed Hardy stickers on it eventually or <laughs> something. Yeah. People want that stuff, so we'll do what they want. Hey, absolutely. It's a very cool looking device. You know, one thing I, we didn't mention is you have the little indicator lights on the bottom too, sort of telling you that the Bluetooth is on, what it's doing. You have volume control right on the phone for that, I assume the music and the audio playback, the speakerphone playback. Yes, so we have the uh, we do Bluetooth bearing button, we have a mute button, we have the speakerphone on and off button, and we have volume up and down. Very nice, very nice. The website where people can go to learn more and pre-order. Is the fusionphone.com. Perfect. Neil, thank you very much. Great, thank you. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2011. We'll be back with more soon from the show floor. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.